Good morning, everyone. So this class is for class 12 science. So in the last class, we were doing determinant. And in that class, we know how to expand a given determinant. And we know the properties of a determinant. We did only the theory portion of determinant in the last online class. And now, today we'll do some problems. So, I am using this uh, SLA book. That is class 12 mathematics by Surendranath De. So, your class 12 mathematics, I mean, you only use Gurzon. So, this is SLA book, right? We'll do some problems from this SLA book. That is exercise 2B, exercise 2B. This is exercise 2B, right? This is exercise 2B, page number, page number is 173. Uh, book used is Maths for 12 by Surendranath Day, that is SM Day. So let's do each question carries two marks. So here we are doing we are doing the problems, and here each question carries two marks. So this is very short answer type question. So here the question is find the value of. Here the question is find the value of number one. So this determinant, this is a form of a determinant and this determinant, uh, this determinant is of order 3 cross 3. That means this determinant is of third order. You have to find out its value, right? So you value is not very well expansion going to be You know, expansion going to it will be complicated, right? So you have to use the properties of determinant. In the last class, I the properties of determinant secure. So with the help of properties of determinant, we can find out the value of this given determinant, right? So let us say that this is D, given determinant, right? So let us write out the question again. Alpha, beta, gamma, alpha is square, beta is square, gamma is square and beta plus gamma, gamma plus alpha, and this is alpha plus beta, right? So now, which property is used here? I mean, some kind of properties you use also on the Fifth property and third property, they are very, very important problem. They are very, very important, not problem. They are very, very important properties, right? So here, here the very, I mean, key the sozi don't say, right? Fifth property, the key one, we had R1 dash is equal to R1 plus K R3. It was like this, isn't it? That is row 3 goes sub element like K multiply uh, row 3 goes sub elements like K multiply and it is added to the first row. And the row 1 is changing here. Similarly, look at the bracket as here, k of the sozi don't say here in the map. If we add this row 3 and row 1, what happens? Alpha plus beta plus gamma. If this is added, this is also alpha plus beta plus gamma. If these two are added, this is also alpha plus beta plus gamma. So you row 1 row, row 3 add the other I mean, the yota row ma, same elements from this row. Either this is alpha plus beta plus gamma, this is alpha plus beta plus gamma, this is alpha plus beta plus gamma or row 1 maybe alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma this is also alpha plus beta plus gamma here so that if you get common in one of these rows you can take that common that is here property number 4 is applied what is property number 4 if each element of a row or a column be multiplied by the same quantity then that determinant is also multiplied by the same quantity. That is your fourth property. You can check that property. Okay. Now what happens is that if we add these two, that means we are using this property. R1 dash is equal to R1 plus. 
this artery, what is the value for key here? A key value is equal to 10, 1, 9. That is row 1 is changing. Now, how does row 1 change R1 plus R3? That is alpha plus beta plus gamma. This is also alpha plus beta plus gamma. This is also alpha plus beta plus gamma. This row 1 is changing. Or you may write, here the value for key is 1. You may write, if R1 dash is there, you should write R1 first. If you have R3 dash, I mean row 3 map only change on the we can, we can change this third row also, but you have to write down the property as R3. If R3 dash is written, then you should write R3 first, plus then 1 into R1, right? Yeah, key value, but 1. Actually, we are adding R3, R1, R3 plus R1, right? So here, what is the value for K? This is 1. This is the constant multiple. R1 goes up to 1 multiply by it is added to the third row and third row is changed here. Or you may write R1 dash is equal to R1 plus 1 into R3. Or you may write R3 dash is equal to R3 plus 1 into R1. Which one is easier here? Let us check it. Okay, you have understood up to here? Okay. Just checking. Okay. So now. Suppose if you write D is equal to, don't write it now, D is equal to, if you write, if you use this property, what happens? Alpha plus beta plus gamma in the, we are using this property, R1 dash is equal to R1 plus 1 into R3, right? So alpha plus beta plus gamma, here you can write alpha plus beta plus gamma, then again R1 plus R3, this second element of the fossil is changing beta plus gamma plus alpha that is alpha plus beta plus gamma this is also r1 plus r3 alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma that means row 1 is changing here is it clear now then all the rows keep it as it is that is alpha square, beta square, this is gamma square, this is also same beta plus gamma, gamma plus alpha, and this is alpha plus beta. Okay. If we use R1 dash is equal to R1 plus 1 into R3. But if we use R3 dash is equal to R3 plus 1 into R1, what happens is that row 3 will change. R3 plus R1. Right? In that case, what do we get? First row and second row remains as it is. Okay? Now, or you may write D is equal to first row as it is alpha beta gamma. Second row, alpha square, beta square, gamma square. What will be the third, new third row now? This is R1, sorry, new third row. R3 dash is equal to R3 plus 1 into R1. That is what do we get here? Alpha plus beta plus gamma. This one is also alpha plus beta plus gamma. This one is also alpha plus beta plus gamma. So which property is easier? Is it R1 dash or R3 dash? If we use R1 dash, we have here alpha plus beta plus gamma. Same elements are there in the first row. So here this is beta plus gamma, gamma plus alpha, alpha plus beta. So you can take common here, alpha plus beta plus gamma, 1, 1, 1, then these expressions are there, right? If you use R3 dash is equal to R3 plus 1 into R1, then we use, we get this determinant, that is alpha beta gamma, alpha square beta square gamma square, then third row is changed, that is we get these elements, that is same elements in the third row. If you take common here, alpha plus beta plus gamma, that is property number 4, 1, 1, 1, right? Okay? So, let's say some of the two elements are in third row, man. Let's say so some of the two elements are in That means this determinant is easier than this determinant. That means which property is used here? This one. R3 dash is equal to R3 plus 1 into R1. But if it is 1, you don't have to write it. Okay? 1 by 2, 3, 4, 1. See, like reports. Buzi? You want to go to It may be 1, it may be 2, it may be 3, it may be a fraction also. It depends upon the problem. Is it clear now? So again, 
am writing the question right so uh, this is number 1 find the value of 1 the question was alpha beta gamma one square beta square beta plus gamma gamma plus alpha and alpha plus beta you have to find out its value so which property is easier here this one r3 dash is equal to r3 plus 1 into r1 that means this r3 plus r1 this is added and row 3 is changed so let us write d is equal to given determinant alpha beta gamma alpha square beta square gamma square beta plus gamma gamma plus alpha alpha plus beta right now in this case you have to simplify so use the property what is that property now row 3 is changing r3 dash just now i explained to you r3 dash is equal to r3 plus r1 is that clear so therefore d is equal to first row second row keep it as it is same bosnio alpha square beta square gamma square these are same first row and second row now third row third row is changed now r3 dash means new row 3 r3 plus r1 r3 plus r1 okay so this is beta plus gamma plus alpha how much is it alpha plus beta plus gamma then this plus this alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma then also this plus this alpha plus beta plus gamma is it clear to all of you okay now you can use problem number four if there is common in the first row or second row or third row or in the column you can take common so here alpha plus beta plus gamma is taken common therefore d is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma right it is taken common so it is alpha beta gamma alpha square beta square gamma square then what will be the third row now third row will be one 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 so this is the simplified form of the determinant okay understood so now there is same elements one 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 in the third row the use the third order determinant row if the determinant is of third order so at a time you can use maximum two properties either you can use only one property or you may use two properties not more than two properties in the third determinant third order determinant can be used so you have to third order determinants are when you say take for now the maximum two properties matra use on us also either your time of the property either do it a property is that clear so in case of third order determinant you can use maximum two properties at a time right either ek euta property mate use garnu sakchau either dui ta property use garnu sakchau not more than two properties can be used in case of third order determinant okay so now this is one 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 in the third row you can make any two of these ones zero by using the property here you can do c1 minus c2 isn't it it is just like c1 minus c2 you can here also we are using the fifth property right fifth property nahi i am use of this that is just like c1 dash is equal to c1 minus 1 into c2 right that is c1 minus c2 you know when c1 minus c2 is equal to 1 minus 1 0 we are using properties in column wise here also 1 minus 1 is 0 this is also 0 okay अब यो तीन टा वन ना निकूने दो टा वन ना जीरो जो सुकरा बना रहे हैं सिटी में ले फर्स्ट कॉलम चेंज कर देंगे बस सेकंड कॉलम चेंज कर देंगे थर्ड कॉलम चेंज कर देंगे बस तो मैक्सिमम हमें एक पर ना को तीन वाला प्रॉपर्टी यूज़ करने से दो टा प्रॉपर्टी तो दो टा प्रॉपर्टी यूज़ करते दो टा एलिमेंट्स जीरो होंगे 
तो कुने वाटा रो अथवा कुने वाटा कॉलम में दो इटा एलिमेंट जीरो भर में नहीं चाहिए यू कैन इजीली एक्सपेंड इट इस डेट क्लियर सो नाउ लेट अस सिंपलीफाई इट इवर अगेन लेट अस सिंपलीफाई इट सो इट इस सी वन डेस इज इक्वल टू सी वन माइनस सी टू एंड C2 dash is equal to C2 minus C3. So in this case, we are using how many properties? Two properties. That is C1 dash means column 1 is changing. C2 dash means column 2 is changing. Right? So therefore, D is equal to within bracket alpha plus beta plus gamma remains as it is. Now, what is C1 dash? Column 1 is changing. Right? This column is changing using the property c1 minus c2 why are we using c1 minus c2 because 1 minus 1 will be always 0 so what is c1 minus c2 alpha minus beta next comes alpha square minus beta square next comes 1 minus 1 is 0 is that clear so column 1 is changed similarly c2 dash means column 2 is changing isn't it so c2 minus C3 beta minus gamma beta minus gamma again beta square this minus this C2 minus C3 beta beta square minus gamma square again 1 minus 1 is 0 the maximum two two properties can be used in case of second order in case of third order determinant so third column remains as it is that is gamma gamma square and this is one. Is it clear now? So now, again, you can see this. This is a square minus b square. This is also a square minus b square. Okay. Therefore, d is equal to within bracket alpha plus beta plus gamma. Now here, alpha minus beta. What is alpha square minus beta square? Alpha plus beta into alpha minus beta. And this is zero, right? Now, what is the second column? Now, I'm rubbing it. So, your second column is beta minus gamma. What is beta square minus gamma square? You can use the same formula: beta plus gamma into beta minus gamma. Then it is zero, right? This is gamma, gamma is square, and this is one. Is it clear now? Now we can take common. We can use problem number four here. Alpha minus beta is common. Here beta minus gamma is common. You can take out that common now. So therefore D is equal to within bracket alpha plus beta plus gamma. What is common in the first column? Alpha minus beta. Then in the second column, beta minus gamma. So what is the first column now? This is one. This is alpha plus beta. And this is zero. What will be the second column now? Beta minus gamma is taken common. This is one, isn't it? Beta minus gamma is taken common from the second column. So it is one, then comes beta plus gamma, then it is zero. Right? Then third column as it is gamma, then write gamma is square and one. Right? So this is the simplified determinant. Now again, now you can expand it this is zero zero uh, in which which row contains zero here which row contains zero third row so expand it with respect to the third row because zero into any number will be always zero so therefore d is equal to within bracket alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha minus beta into beta minus gamma now within third bracket, let us expand it with respect to the third row. Third row order expansion will kick you sir. You know the sign. Plus minus plus minus plus minus 
and it is plus minus plus. So you should write zero, isn't it? You should write plus zero, but zero into any number is always zero. Will you write zero there? No, you don't have to write zero because it is already zero. If it is zero, you don't have to write any number out there. Minus zero. Again, zero into any number, zero. Don't have, you don't have to write, right? Let us write it because this is the first problem. Let us write it zero. If you write zero, then delete the row and the column from that element. So zero and zero, third row, first column, delete one, use each other. Right? That is cross multiply them. One into gamma is square, gamma is square minus gamma into beta plus gamma. This is just the expansion, right? Next, then minus zero. Minus zero within second bracket. If you take this zero, delete the row and the column through this element, this third row and second columns are deleted, right? So we have one gamma alpha plus beta gamma square. So multiply one by gamma square, it is gamma square, then minus, minus gamma into alpha plus beta. Gamma into alpha plus beta, second bracket is closed, right? Now, then next one is plus one. Plus, minus, plus, then comes one. Within second bracket. Let us multiply them. You have to delete the row and the column through this element. That means third row and third column are deleted. Right? So one into k beta, you will be better, right? So one into beta plus gamma. One into beta plus gamma, this one minus. Again, one into, this is one. Minus one into what? Alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta. Second bracket is closed. Then third bracket is closed. Understood? So therefore D is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha minus beta beta minus gamma. If there is zero, you don't have to write this term because zero into the number is always zero. Again, there is zero, zero into the number is always zero. Only you have to write down this term. Let us expand it. One into beta, beta, plus one into gamma, plus gamma, minus one into alpha, minus alpha, minus into plus, minus beta. So this is simplified. Okay? So therefore, B is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma. Then alpha minus beta into beta minus gamma. Then your yeah, beta beta gets cancels. So what do we get? Gamma minus alpha. So this is the final answer. So we have used some properties of determinant here and then we have simplified the given determinant. So in this, this is the method for finding out the value of this determinant, right? So now we'll do next problem. You can copy it. So now, let us do question number two. That is, you have to find out the value of this given determinant. Okay, so this is also determinant of third order. Okay, so you have to find out the value of this determinant. Let us write given determinant D is equal to again. You can copy the question x a b a x b a b x. Right, so now here which property is used here? Because sometimes uh, this fifth property can be written as R1 dash is equal to R1 plus K1 R2 plus uh, K1 R2 plus K2 R3. You can write this property also. R2 lapani kune constant and multiply gono. R3 lapani kune constant and multiply gono. It is added to the first row. Okay. Each and every element of the second row is multiplied by the same quantity k1 and also each and every element of the row 3 is multiplied by k2 and 
both of these are added to R1. And then R1 is changed. Come on, Ami. Thin tie property, thin tie rows, when you add one of the thin tie column, when you add one of the socks. So, this is the same as 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 the same the same as the same as this also a plus x plus b same expression is there x plus a plus b this also a plus b plus x that is x plus a plus b same expression is coming out here in the first column so that you can take common but if we do r1 plus r2 plus r3 do we get the same element in the first row let us check it now r1 Row one equals is no horizontal by you. R1 plus R2 plus R3 gada, you row one ma same elements with Jacob and a Jacob. X plus A plus A, X plus 2A. You were A plus X plus B, you were A plus X plus B, you were B plus B plus X, whatever, X plus 2B. But these, the elements in the first row are not same. So we cannot use R1 dash is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. But you can use C1 plus C2 plus C3. Again, I have to check it out. So let us use C1 dash. Your C1 dash, dash is going to be use a new first column. C1 dash is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. That means column 1 is changing. You say old column 1, old column 2, old column 3. Okay? You column 1, column 2, column 3. Right? So therefore, D is equal to column 1 is changing. But you see new column 1 by here. Here are you. X plus A plus B. This is X plus A plus B. Then again, what is the second element of the new first column? A plus X plus B, this is also X plus A plus B. Again, third element of the first column is changing. A plus B plus X, that means X plus A plus B. Is that clear now? So first column is changing, but we are getting the same elements in the first column. Now, Second column and third column, they remain same. A x b, the yukiwa b b x. Is it clear? Now, in the next step, what we will do? You can use problem number four. You can take common from the first column, right? So now, therefore, d is equal to d is equal to what is common from the first column? X plus A plus B. Right? So now, what is the new first column here? 1, 1, 1. Right? What is the second column? A, X, B. What is the third column? B, B, X. B, B, X. Right? So this is the simplified form of the determinant. Now here we see that the first column, all the elements in the first column are same. That is 1, 1, 1. All the elements are 1, 1, 1 here. So you can make any two of these ones 0, isn't it? By using the property, I already told you in the first problem that in case of third order determinant, maximum Two properties can be used, not more than two. Either you can use only one property or you can use two properties at a time. Okay? So we have to use two properties here to make two ones zero. Isn't it? Time equals a property is going to also this minus this other. This minus this, one minus one zero. Again, this minus this, one minus one zero. That means R1 minus R2, row one is changing. R2 minus R3, row two is changing. So here, R1 dash is equal to R1 minus R2 and next one, R1 dash means new row 1. 
that is rho 1 is changing by writing r1 minus r2 mane agi nai bhane paila r1 dash cha bhane paila ke auncha hamro r1 nai auncha thik cha yo r2 agadi lekha r2 minus r1 hudaina that is wrong way of writing the property right r1 dash cha bhane agadi ke lekhnu parcha r1 nai lekhnu parcha so this r1 minus r2 ab again rho 2 is changing r2 dash is equal to since r2 dash is written there you have to write r2 minus r3 okay but you cannot write r2 minus r1 because r1 minus r2 is used you know you cannot write r2 minus r1 same row 1 is not used here you have to use the third row in this case so r2 dash when you add it in the r2 minus r1 user will be the same user r1 minus r2 r2 minus r2 minus r1 is same user is the third one the one row like so row 3 like person in that case so it is r2 dash is equal to r2 minus r3 okay that means r2 dash means new row 2 that is row 2 is changing here it is is it is it clear now so very very much on this one r1 dash take it r1 minus r2 like so many R2 dash is equal to R2 minus R1 on the end. Can R1 same user by the end? The key user is R4 row user, that is row 3. So, you have to write the third side, you have to write the third side. You have to write the third side. R2 minus R1 on the end, 0 on the end. R2 minus R1 on the end, 0 on the end. That means we can use it. I mean, so that's how you use it. But we cannot use it because R1 is used here. Okay? So, you have to use R3 here. So now, therefore, now let us do the next step. D is equal to x plus a plus b. Now, R1 dash means row 1 is changing. How does it change? 1 minus 1, 0. This 1 minus 1, 0. R1 minus R2. Row 1 minus row 2. 1 minus 1, 0. Then comes a minus x. b minus b. 0 Pixel Next Again R2 dash is equal to R2 minus R3 R2 dash is equal to R2 minus R3 1 minus 1 0 X minus B X minus B Right Then this is B minus X This is B minus X Right And Third column You have to keep it same that is 1bx 1bx so I think is it clear now? Okay. now we can expand it you can expand it with respect to the first row because there are two zeros out here or you may expand it with respect to the first column because there are two zeros out here and one is there which one is easier? Let us expand it with respect to the first column. Is that clear? Let us expand it with respect to the first column. So in the previous online class, we did how to expand a given determinant with respect to the first row or with respect to the second row or with respect to the third row. Or it may be expanding with respect to the first column, expanding with respect to the second column, expanding with respect to the third column. So now let us expand it. Therefore, D is equal to, you have to write x plus a plus b that was taken common, right? Now let us expand it with respect to the first row. First row minus plus 0, plus 0, minus 0, plus 1. But do we have to write these two zeros? No, because 0 in the number is always 0. And also, this second 0 minus 0 in the number is always 0. This first zero plus zero into any number is always zero. Then comes minus zero. That zero into any number is always zero. Okay. So let us write one. Let us write plus minus plus. So this one. Right. So let us write down the third bracket. One. If we take one. You have to delete the row, you have to delete the row and the column through that element. You one, you have any, 
you have to delete the row and the column through this element or you forget you forget about the row and the column through the element 1 that is 1bx100 you can delete it so take it a minus x 0 x minus b b minus x now we do cross multiply now we can do cross multiplication a minus x into b minus x a minus x into b minus x right by now about one you have to delete the row and the column through this element plus one so a minus x into b minus x it is cross multiplied a minus x into b minus x b is not case and i minus I mean zero into any number is always zero that is zero into x minus b is always zero right so what will be the final answer now therefore b is equal to within bracket x plus a plus b then you have to write a minus x into b minus x and this zero you don't have to write that zero okay the ethic answer like that number or you may write this answer as x minus a x minus b by taking minus common or you may write the ethical algorithm in which answer or b is equal to x plus a plus b into minus common here write it as x minus a into again here minus is taken common x minus b second bracket is closed so or d is equal to x plus a plus b right so minus zero minus plus then again it is x minus a into x minus b so this is the final answer of question number two so i think this question number two is also understood okay now i mean all the problem works on that So now we will do this question number 12 from the book. Okay, the already any problem or so, the result of the problem is question number 12. So prove without expanding on this. I will tell you expansion will do that. Prove without expanding. I mean, Kuni Prakar Kunya expansion with respect to the first row, with respect to the second row, third row, first column, second column, third column, I mean, expansion will do that. So without expanding, you have to prove this determinant is equal to zero, right? So D is equal to, let us write down this determinant again for four, three, okay? For four, five, for four, six, for four, seven, for 49, for 50, and for 51, okay? See, I will expand some value with the number. It's a property use on the body. Kunza property will say what I determine the value zero. Third property if two rows or two columns of a given determinant be identical, then the value of that determinant will be zero. I think you have learned it. Okay, so how many yet say go to our way? Let us take it 442 minus 441 is one. 446 minus 445 is also 1. 450 minus 449 is also 1. We can use the property C2 minus C1. That means column 2 will be changed because we are writing C2 first. Is that clear? C2 minus C1, you have only 1, you have only 1, you have only 1. Ferry, again, third order determinant of maximum, I mean, do it a property use on a soft soap. Ferry, what is C3 minus C1? 443 minus 442 1 447 minus 446 also 1 451 minus 450 is also 1 that means this this is 1 1 1 when you see you do it identical directly kill is 0 so it is fine rows are here right row right what is 445 minus 441 4 446 minus 442 4 447 minus 443 that is also 4 
फोर 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 है मुझे सो सेकेंड वे चेंजिंग इयर वी आर गेटिंग फोर 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 राइट अज प्रोडी जो फोर फोर्टी नाइन माइनस फोर फोर्टी फाइव दैट इज ऑल्सो फोर फोर फिफ्टी माइनस फोर फोर्टी सिक्स दैट इज ऑल्सो फोर फोर फिफ्टी वन माइनस फोर फोर्टी सेवन दैट इज ऑल्सो फोर सो इफ यू यूज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑन दी सेकेंड रो एंड ऑन दी थर्ड रो वी आर गेटिंग द सेम एलिमेंट्स इन बोथ सेकेंड रो एंड द थर्ड रो फोर 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 इन द सेकेंड रो फोर 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 इन द थर्ड रो इफ टू रोज आर आई दीज टू रोज आर आइडेंटिकल इफ टू रोज आर आइडेंटिकल डायरेक्टली यू कैन राइट इट जीरो okay so in this problem you can use properties either on the row or on the column to make two rows or two columns identical is it clear now let's apply property on column so c to dash since c to dash is written here you have to write c2 minus c1 Is it clear? And C three dash C three dash is also changing. You may write C three minus C one, or you may write C three minus C two. Is it clear? The C three dash is equal to C three minus C one. Got it? Remember C three minus C two. Got it? Means. So the first dash is only the key. Only the number C three. Only the number. C3 थ्री डैश सी थ्री माइनस सी टू लेख सजी यहाँ पर वन 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 आई हाल बुझे सब सो नाउ लेट अस यूज दिस प्रपर्टी तो यह दुईट प्रपर्टी हम एक पट में यूज कर डी इज इक्वल टू नाउ यहाँ सी वन को कुरा आक सी वन रिमेन्स एज इट इज दैट इज फोर फोर्टी वन Then comes four forty five. Then comes four forty five. Then comes four forty nine. Four forty nine, right? Then what? What is C two dash? Column two is changing. C two minus C one. Four forty two minus four forty one is one. Similarly, four forty six minus four forty five is also one. Four fifty minus four forty nine is also one. So this second column is done. That is second column is changing. Now again third column is changing. How does it change? C three minus C two. So four forty three minus four forty two is also one. Four forty seven minus four forty six is also one. Four fifty one minus four fifty is also one. So here two columns are identical. So we can use problem number three. So what is problem number three? If two rows or two columns of a given determinant are identical, then the value of the determinant is always zero. Okay. And therefore, D is value. You can write zero. You can write the reason here also. Since two columns, since two columns are identical, since Two columns are identical, so D is equal to zero. Good. So without expanding, we proved question number two. Okay. The as I mean, this is the question. Is it? Is this revision only try to understand it? So in the next class, we will do more problems, right? So you are also going to see. It's about basic problem. We are going to study. You are also going to practice. Going to you can do well. ओके द नेक्स्ट हमी ये प्रॉब्लम ये प्रब्लम भाई गुड बाय